finally here we are at the most important part about media monkey I love this step tons of people don't know about it and they really should that's why I'm making a video on it okay I'm Chris Taylor today is skins and scripting two of the words you will love me for saying okay we're gonna start with skins there are three skins built into media monkey when you download it mind you this is 3.1 in the older versions they might not have these skins in them okay I'm just going with 3.1 if you have other versions then you can go with that too okay you're gonna go file or sorry you're gonna go tools options and you're gonna look at all these things and say what and then you're gonna go down to skin here's the skins okay it's as easy as just selecting the skin if you want bluegrass you're gonna click bluegrass and there it is I like the new vitreous blue it's one of my favorites very cool click OK and we're all good right wrong if if you want other skins okay you're gonna have to go find them but it's not hard at all here is one of the websites that I love it's a wiki for the skins of media monkey version 3.0 and higher now if you would like to download a new script here they are okay one of the ones I used to use for a long time was the soon script I mean skin, sorry. Uh, it was, it's probably still one of my favorites. Uh, I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna save file. Now it comes up as a .mmip, which means that MediaMonkey knows what this is and can use it properly. You don't have to do anything within the program files of MediaMonkey. All you have to do is double click this and press install now. The product was successfully installed. I'm gonna open this up but we're gonna have to implement it so you go down to options and you click on zoom skin there it is this one has a really cool where is it? mini player yeah see look at that very cute right except for this thing is a little bit annoying some of the screen is kinda getting messed up I apologize for that okay we're gonna go into the big view now now that makes it look a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. But I want it to work a little bit better. I don't really care about the look. Okay, this is what I think. Now I'm gonna go and get some scripts. Scripts are very important. I'm also going to give you this website, which has top 10 scripts from this guy who makes most of the good scripts that Media Monkey users use today. Okay, so I'm going to give you this site, I'll give you it in the sidebar when I'm done the video, okay. Now, you're going to look at these and you're not going to know what they mean too much. I mean, Batch Art Finder 3.0, it says this is a longer way batch version of my Google Art Finder script. It checks all your albums list with no art and no career and queries Google's for the images. When you got all you want, hit the save button and your tracks will be updated. It doesn't mean too much to you unless you use it. Okay, so these, these two buttons here, this button is for Media Monkey 2. And this button is for Media Monkey 3 or higher. We're going to click that because we have 3.1. We're going to save it. And luckily for us, it's a .mmip, which means we can just double click it. We're going to open Media Monkey and press Install Now. Product was successfully installed. Everything should work according to plan. You won't really know where it is. You'll think, oh, nothing really happened. But here is the button for the batch art finder. This is one of the most important things that I use MediaMonkey for. Let's click it. Okay, it's checking all of the album art that I have in my computer and uh, tagged to most of my songs. While it does that, I'm going to go grab another script, my second favorite script. Okay, we're going to download it, save file. It's going a little bit slow. It's okay that's because it's looking for all of these album arts yeah this is incredible it goes through all of your CDs you don't have to do all of your CDs I've already told it to do all of my CDs you can choose to just do the CD that is selected that you want okay so now it will put the name of the album and the artist into Google and hopefully find the album art for you now it's done a really great job of doing Angels and Airways. There's some Aqueduct. There's some Beck. Okay, if you think or if you know that this is the actual picture for the CD, you're gonna click this little button which is Save, Save, and you're gonna click Select Save Checked Images. 
now when it's done saving which should be quite soon hopefully it should say saved right here with an exclamation mark you go next and it should be all done it's gonna tag all the tracks here it's just going along and you should have album art with whichever CD you saved so let's go to Angels and Airwaves and there we go we have an I Empire and we have we don't need to whisper they're both there it's great right now here's another one uh, Monkey Rock 4.1 if anyone has ever used Amarok on the on Ubuntu and knows how incredible that music player is, this is just a little bit of a taste. Okay, so we're going to double click on that and we're going to go install now. It's always going to ask you if ActiveX can control on this page, but it might be unsafe. It's never really unsafe, so just click yes all the time. I promise it's not going to mess up your computer. Okay, so I'm going to take out my now playing because this Amarok is kind of going to take over are you frozen? You're frozen, aren't you? Great, awesome. There we go. Product was successfully installed. Okay, I'm going to take out the now playing. And what it gives you is a little bit of information about what you're playing. Now, I'm going to click on, let's see, some Arkells. I'm going to play it. It starts playing. The Amarok is going to look and show you uh, all the songs in the CD that you've chosen. It's going to tell you, is this the first play, what the rating is, and if it's been played before. Now, it's going to tell you how many times each song has been played, and it's rating here, too. It's going to tell you your favorite tracks by the Arkells and the most played tracks by Arkells. I've n I haven't played a song in my Media Monkey yet, so it's not going to tell me much. But once you are using this program a lot, and you're playing a lot of songs, it's going to be very, very useful for you. I, I really think so. Okay. It'll change. Yeah, it's a great, great, great script. I love this one. Now, you don't just have to use these two scripts. There's a top ten scripts here. Uh, you can add all of them. I'm just going to add these two for this video. I'm also going to put it back to. I'm going to put it back to Vitreous Blue because that's a really cool skin. I, love, I like that a lot. Okay, so this is just some of the ways that you can change your media monkey to look a little bit better it doesn't have to look like the old boring media monkey that always comes up in people's minds okay this one is really cool I like Vitreous Blue a lot actually okay so that's about it that's scripting and skinning for the media monkey if you have any questions just you know comment on it and I'll hopefully answer as many as I can this is Chris Taylor and this is another video on the media monkey